Hey guys, Spooks and Crimes. Um, sorry we haven't been on for a while. And this is episode 83. Can't remember if I said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is Hamilton Turner in Samuel Hamilton, informally known as the Lord of Lafayette Square, built his four-story mansion for his family in 1873 in Savannah, Georgia. It was the first house to install electricity in Savannah. The home was nearly destroyed during the Great Savannah Fire of 1898. The Connecticut limestone roof has been credited with saving it from being burned to the ground. Samuel collected pieces from around the world. He hired a guard to protect his possessions. One morning, the guard didn't come down from his post on the roof. The guard was shot in the back of the head. The guard was found lying in a pool of his own blood and the killer was never caught. After his guard was murdered, no one wanted the job, so Samuel took over protecting his property. But do you blame them for now? <laughs> I'd be like, wait, that that person was murdered. They don't know who did it. Nah, I'm good. And like the thing is, is like, why did they get murdered? You just I, murdered yeah. it just to kill them? It, like, that's there, yeah, there was, <laughs> there was, they don't know why this person was murdered and they don't know who murdered this person. <laughs> okay, fuck that. <laughs> Um, he did that until he died in, in 1899. Dr. Francis Turner bought the home from Hamilton Estate in 1915. He lived there with his family until 1926. In 1928, the home was opened for boarding and became a home for the Marine Hospital nurses. The Turner family moved back into the home in the, four, in the 1400s. 1940s. 1940s. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, they went back in time. <laughs> Dr. Turner hosted exact ex ex extravagant there parties. There you go, parties at the at the home. His children were supposed to stay upstairs during these parties. Yeah. It's rumored that his children would play with billiard balls and roll them down the stairs. When they would go down to get the ball, they would get a glimpse of the party. One time... One of the young girls fell down the stairs and died. Damn. They went from throwing balls to kids? No. <laughs> I think when she went to go get the ball, she slipped and fell and she died. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, like, like the little kids are like, the balls are no more fun. Go see. Oh. Like, is she, you know, like, hey, my bad. <laughs> 1965, the Turner family sold the house to officials at the cap cathedral, C cathedral, <laughs> and Saint John the, ba the Baptist. But they wanted to destroy the home to build a playground for the nearby school. The historic Savannah Foundation, a nonprofit organi organization, jumped in to save it from being torn down. After years of negotiations, <laughs> the home was saved. Uh, the home had different owners over the years. The Hamilton Turner home became the Hamilton, Hamilton Turner Inn in 1991 when Nancy Hills purchased it. Nancy was the inspirational for the inspiration oh. <laughs> for the character Mandy in Midnight and the Garden of Good and Evil. The Hamilton Turner Inn was mentioned in the 1994 book. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil book follows the story of, an, of an antiques dealer to on trial for the murder of a male prostitute. Nancy sold the home to Charlie and Sue Strickland. In 1997, they converted the home into a luxurious Savannah Suites. It's rumored to be early inspirations behind Disney's Haunted Mansion. Oh, that's cool. Um, the home does resemble the Phantom Manor Disney or ride at Disneyland Paris. Paris has a Disneyland too? Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Are we the only Disney World? I think so. Uh, strange things have been seen and heard over the years at the end. Guests allegedly can hear what sounds like a billiard ball going down the stairs. People believe this is the young girl who died who died's ghost. That's creepy. Yeah, they said you can hear a ball bouncing down the stairs and then and then rolling. rolling. Yeah. Um, a cigar smoking specter 
and is sometimes spotted on the roof. Some believe this is either the murder guard or Samuel keeping watch over his home. I bet it's Samuel. All right, guys, that's a little paranormal. Creepy as hell. Right, guys, that's it for this episode. We'll see you guys later. Bye!